everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review on the brand new WWE Fan Takeover Series 2 Randy Orton and Johnny Gargano figures. Now, you're probably wondering why we don't have the full set in here. I don't know why. Like, Amazon decided to just split up the shipping, but I did get Randy Orton and Johnny Gargano, arguably the two that I was looking the most forward to, so it works out for me. I don't have a problem with it. We got two really good attires over here. I'm super excited to break them all down and get into it. Of course, we are missing our X-Pac figure and our Christian figure, which those are actually coming next week sometime, so maybe I'll be able to get that two-in-one figure review for Christian and X-Pac for you guys to finish up our set. But taking a look here, man, you guys know that Series 1, we had Shayna Baszler, Seth Rollins, Adam Cole, and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, and that was a pretty solid set, but I would say that Series 2 is a stronger set overall. You know, Seth Rollins didn't get us the Thanos gear. Adam Cole didn't give us the War Games gear. I mean, there were a lot of letdowns in that first wave, but I think the second wave makes up for it guys. Randy Orton and Johnny Gargano here is our two looks at the packaging right here. I like the way they look right here for you mock collectors. On the side we do have beautiful images of the two men. Uh, just just my own personal opinion I think Randy Orton's more handsome. I, I, that's just on me. On the back here guys we do get a great shot of both the talents right there. You guys can see the actual poll voted right here and you guys will see here that NXT TakeOver Toronto won by a pretty decent margin and then WrestleMania 20 did win over Backlash 04 by a little bit. This one was pretty close. I'm pretty sure that Raw attire, I can't remember if that was his black and gold gear or if it was his SummerSlam gear where he took on Benoit. Maybe they didn't even give us that option. I can't remember, but nonetheless, I'm, I'm proud of the ones that we got. I think we could have lived with other ones as well, but I'm, I'm proud to get these. Right here on the side, you get the same images of the talent there, and that pretty much wraps up our packaging, guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and crack Randy Orton and Johnny Gargano out of their packaging and see what we got going on with these. All right, guys, so here's Randy Orton and Johnny Gargano out of the packaging. Getting started first, guys, I think that, you know, these are, I mean, what the what the fan takeover series is all about is kind of getting, like, repaints out there, you know, pretty much re-releasing figures in different attires, kind of, is what I've gathered from it. If you take a look at Series 1, you take a look at Series 2, that's kind of what we got going on. A new head sculpt for maybe one of the talents and stuff, but these are pretty much repaints of what we've seen in the past, but I don't have any problems with it. I am uh, probably one of the biggest Randy Orton fans that you'll find, and adding this guy up on my shelf. This is one attire that I haven't had before, and it's one that I'm missing from my shelf. And then this is a repaint of our Elite 70 Johnny Gargano, which was super hard to come by, and it goes for a lot of money. And we'll do a comparison shot of that, guys. But what we're going to do first, guys, is break down Randy Orton's accessories, and then Randy Orton, and then we will run it back and take a closer look at Gargano's accessories and Johnny Gargano. So let's shut the hell up and dive into Randy Orton's accessories. Alright, guys, so diving into Randy Orton's accessories. Starting out first, we do get a microphone. Now, for the microphone, this is something that we've seen so many times before, and something that is definitely inaccurate. It's the new WWE Network style logo. The modern logo for the WWE. Back then, this is not the logo they had. They had the Scratch logo, so I don't know why they didn't just give us the Scratch logo. It was WWE still, but it was not, you know, it was definitely not this logo, so I don't know why they gave us that, but we've seen this a hundred million times in the past. One thing that is new with this figure, however, is the new Randy Orton signature hands. Now, I know you're, you're, you're already typing your comment, MDT, we've had these a million times before. Yes, we have, Brad, but they have never not had painted tape on there. So this, I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the first time that we've ever seen the Randy Orton signature hands without any black tape or any type of painted tape on the hand. So I think this is our first time getting them bare like this, and they look really good. This fits perfectly to Randy Orton at the time, and it's just excellent. I'm glad to have these here, and uh, if, you know, if the Fan Takeover series is as cheap as they are, you know, with Series 1, hopefully this series will be just as easy to access. I'm going to be tracking down a lot of this Orton and Gargan. So we'll have to see about that. But here is my favorite iteration of the Intercontinental Championship, the Oval Intercontinental Championship. And this just looks gorgeous, man. I know a lot of people like the white strap and the different colors, but this is my favorite iteration. And if you're on Team Oval IC title, let me know down in the comment section below. But that pretty much wraps up Randy Orton's accessories, man. All stuff we've seen before outside of the non-painted or non-tape Randy Orton signature hands. But now that we've done that, let's take a closer look at Orton himself and get the hell started. So diving into Randy Orton himself, guys, starting out at the top, this is pretty much a re-release of our Elite 49 head sculpt and the Decade of Domination figure, I'm pretty sure, except this head is actually looking off to the right. Now, I may replace it with one of my Decade of Domination interchangeable head sculpt because he looks straight ahead and the haircut is virtually the same. I don't know if the head sculpts are exactly the same, but they definitely look a lot alike. But, uh, I mean, it looks just like Randy Orton from around that time, man. I mean, this is when I was a kid. This is beautiful stuff to see. WrestleMania 20, this is like prime time ideal wrestling for me, and this, is, this looks great 
great for me. I, I don't have a problem with this head sculpt. You got the ripped up torso that Randy Orton always has. He didn't have all his tattoos back then, so you just get his tribal tattoos that he had. Also has the tribal on the back of the arm there. He also has the work on the upper back up there, which is all great and terrific. Another thing that I'd like to do is do a torso swap with his updated modern Ordens with all of his tattoos onto older attires like this. I think that would be really sick that I haven't seen a lot of people do. But here's the trunks, the WrestleMania 20 trunks. I mean, I think it came out pretty good. I don't think it's like, like the blue is coming off a lot more accurate on camera than in person. In person, it's like more lighter. Like, I don't know why it looks so like royally on camera. It's definitely more of like, I don't, I don't even know how to say it. It's like, it's definitely a lighter blue or like a marinish blue than it's coming across on camera. But the gold designs and everything look really good. Plain Randy legs, Randy knee pads, and black Randy boots for this Randy Orton. But I am really enjoying what we got going on just because I love Randy Orton. I mean, you guys may not give a damn, but for me, I mean, this is just prime time right here. I am enjoying this. So, and it also feels like the legs pose a lot better than other Ordens. I'm not sure what that is or if that's just a fluke accident, but this Randy Orton figure is bomb as hell. And then for your fan takeover Randy Orton figure comparison, guys, here's the Elite 49, which was the first Legend Killer Orton that we got from WrestleMania 21, I think, where he took on The Undertaker. And these head sculpts are virtually the same. I actually think this one may be a little bit better. It doesn't have true effects, but it looks just like him. And then this is the head sculpt that I was talking about that looks very similar. Like, I mean, maybe the hair color's off a little, but this guy's looking straight ahead. This guy's looking off to the right. So I may put that head sculpt on there, see what it looks like. But at the end of the day, uh, I'm, I'm liking what we got going on here. Or did, did, did this figure come with the, with the hands? Did, did this figure right here come with these hands? I can't remember, man. I, I could be wrong about that. They may have. I, I It's totally skipping my brain right now. I want to say it just came with mic holding hands, but there's your Randy Orton figure comparisons. So getting into Gargano's accessories, guys, the main accessory that he comes with is his entrance vest. Now, this is the Wolverine gear that is just absolutely beautiful. Now, if in an ideal world, I would have asked for the Iron Man or the Punisher gear, but you know what? I don't have a problem with this. Wolverine, it's kind of crazy because those are my three favorite Marvel characters. So Wolverine, Punisher, and Iron Man, I would have been fine with any of them. I think that was the voltage. One of them may have been like his updated like light blue attire or white attire or whatever that was, but Iron Iron Man, Punisher, Wolverine, I'm good with any of them. It is missing the scratches in the chest here, but all the details are going around. I mean, it definitely reminds you of Wolverine, right? And I think what is really sick is where the X-Men logo would go on the belt. It is actually the X in NXT, so that's just beautiful. I'm guessing because of copyright and licensing issues, they couldn't give us the scratches in the vest. Probably won't add them just because, you know, this plastic is kind of difficult to cut out, and I don't want to mess it up or anything, but nonetheless, it's still really badass, and it looks great, and, you know, it ties into the figure great. Outside of that, guys, we just get interchangeable hands. Hands. You have his like Christian Ricochet Kawhi Leonard style hands where it's like going for the you know he he does the lookout where he puts his hand over his over his eyebrows and then he can do the handshake and I mean there's a lot of different poses for this. We also get interchangeable fisted hands and we also get interchangeable mic holding hands. Now you're probably wondering why there's only one of these. It's because the other one is actually on the figure right now and then the other mic holding hand is right there. But outside of the entrance vest, just three pairs of interchangeable hands. Him and Seth Rollins are those guys that get three pairs for some reason. But who the hell? care. It's not a big deal to me, but let's take a closer look at Gargano. So getting into Johnny Gargano, man, I mean, a lot of people are probably going to complain that it's not a new Johnny Gargano head sculpt, but when a Johnny Gargano head sculpt looks this good, guys, I don't think it's the biggest problem, simply because you get a lot of different stuff. Like, this looks just like Johnny Gargano. I don't know how you'd have any issues with it. It looks identical to the man. Ripped up torso looks absolutely great. Thank God they gave him that again. Hopefully that continues to be a trend moving forward. I don't know why it would change. Going down into the attire, man, Man, this is a gorgeous gear. You know, Johnny Gargano is really good at rocking gears that people enjoy. You have the Wolverine claws over here. I'm actually even shot. Like, how the hell are they even getting away with this? You know, I, I don't know how they get away with plugging in these, like, little items. Like, how do you, how can you put the claws here, but you can't put the slashes on the chest? You know, I, I don't know. I don't make the rules. I just break them. But both of the gauntlets look really good. I'm hoping that this, this figure is really easy to obtain. Not like his first figure where we can actually get this, do customs and stuff for the pick fed. You guys know he took that vicious bump off that truck at Hell's Gate. Who the hell knows when he'll be back, but you know, I'd still like to get some attires in here. You got the Skyline City background in the yellow, black, blue, and red. Really great uniform colors going through on this guy. On the back, you got the Johnny Wrestling in the Wolverine font, which again, how is this even, I don't even know how that's possible. How is that, like, this looks like Wolverine. I don't know how they get away with it, but I'm not going to question it. Going down into the legs, guys, he is on ball joints, so he gets really good articulation. Black knee tape, knee pads look really good with all this good stuff, and this is where the money is made, Brad. No longer do we have to deal with the Johnny Gargano syndrome, Brad. This man is healed of Johnny Gargano syndrome.
syndrome. They actually gave him full length kick pads. Now, while they did add like some weird paint here, I don't know if that's actually accurate or not. I'm pretty sure these three little lines are supposed to be sculpted onto the kick pad, but I don't care. This is so much better than giving him those short kick pads that make no sense. This is wonderful, man. This is what we like to see. You still get that blocking style that he always wears on his gear. Yellow outlines on the black feet. The blue looks really good. All of this stuff looks absolutely fantastic. They did a really good job on here. Johnny wrestling in the Wolverine font again. Just, oh man, this, is, this figure is as great as we thought it would be, man. And anybody that's a Wolverine fan or both of Johnny Gargano and Wolverine and Marvel and everything, man, this is a great action figure. This is going to be one of those figures that a lot of people enjoy and love uh, for the whole year. I can see it coming in at, at one, in the top 10 at the end of the year, but we'll have to see how that all plays out. And for your Johnny Gargano figure comparisons, guys, here's the Elite 70 on the left with his vest. It's more of like a Spider-Man getting taken over by Venom gear is what I'd like to call it. That's what I pretty much see here. I did switch it out from the, uh, you know, the Johnny Gargano syndrome. And then, of course, you have Tommaso Ciampa here because you got to get that comparison in as well. But all three of these figures look really fantastic. Uh, they, they did a great job on both of these figures, especially like with their head sculpts, their body molds, their parts choices, their ball joint legs. I mean, it's they, these figures are pristine, man. And seeing him up next here, I'd love to see more gear from Johnny Gargano. But uh, overall, which one do you guys like better? You like the Elite 70 or the Fan Takeover? I think I would give the nod to the Fan Takeover, but what the hell do I know, Brad? That is it for your Johnny Gargano Elite Figure Comparisons. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much going to do it for this 2-in-1 Elite Figure Review. I appreciate you guys by checking out the Fan Takeover Series 2, Johnny Gargano and Randy Orton. I really enjoy both figures, man. Overall, I think that both of them are absolutely fantastic. I would highly recommend both, especially if you missed out on the Elite 70 Gargano, man. Definitely go check these out. I know a lot of people had their order canceled, so I really hate to hear that. I don't know how mine got in. I guess I got my order in before they sold out or whatever the case was, but I'm just glad that I got mine in before they actually sold out and everything guys, but I would highly, highly recommend both. I think the attire for Gargano was great. The Orton is great. I mean, I would grab the Orton if it was a plain black attire. I just love Orton that much. And Gargano, all of his figures are going to be nice because he rocks sick-ass gear every single time he comes to the ring. That is what MDT would do if he were a wrestler, but before we get out of here, guys, let's give a huge shout-out to Gaming Freak. He says, I just got back from the doctors because I'm feeling 0%, but seeing that MDT posted made me feel better. So, huge shout-out to Gaming Freak, man. Hey, you are feeling 0%. Hopefully, you're feeling 100% now that uh, we got a new video up there, but I really appreciate the kind words. Hopefully, your day is better today, and, uh, you, you know, you have a great weekend, and, you know, we get all these good things in here, man. But I appreciate you guys stopping by. Huge shout-out to the Gaming Freak for that comment, but I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok at MyDamnToys or maybe official MDT, or I don't know, man. Just go find it. I, I, don't, I don't know. I have two accounts on there. One has 400 followers. One has 200. Uh, who... I, I don't know. I, I need to start posting over there because, I don't know, I feel like I, I just need to get in on there. But thank you for watching. Subscribe, guys, and uh, don't cross that line. You cross the line. I've been